Hello everyone and welcome to another Port Royale 4 video. Now it has been a very long time. I think the last time we did it was pretty much this time a year ago. Um, but I did actually receive a key from Calypso uh, for the game. This is the uh, PS5 version of the game. So yes, the next gen version, which is going to be quite cool to see the differences. I suppose it will probably run smoother. So I think on the last uh, one at times that you did get a slight FPS drop. I think if I remember correctly, it has been a long time. Uh, but yeah, we're on here today, and we're going to give it a go. We're going to start a whole new game. Uh, yeah, it's going to it's going to be cool. I remember I did find the game quite confusing at the beginning, and I slowly did learn it, but I've I've, I've sort of forgot again. So we're just going to throw ourselves in the deep end and just crack on with it. But yeah, big thanks to uh, Calypso Games. Obviously, big thanks to Abby for giving us a code. Oh, and a little side note: this game will not be available. Obviously, the PlayStation Five edition. You can also pick up the PS Four edition. Fine now for obviously forty-five pounds. Um, the PS Five edition will not be out until the twenty-fourth of September. Anyway, let's uh, let's make a new game. Um, free game or load. We don't actually have a game at the moment. Oh no, we do. No, it it does actually carry over by the looks of things. Um, this is the PS5 edition. I <laughs> I better quickly check. Um, game version. Yes, it is the PS5 edition. Um, so yeah, it seems like your save does actually carry over from. Well, from the PlayStation 4. You can see the last time we played was. Yeah, the end of October, so almost a whole year ago. Uh, so I think we're going to start a new one. I think that'll be a good thing to do. Um, yeah, we'll skip it. Yeah, um, yeah, continue. Right, obviously we're going to be the England. Well, England, aren't we? Um, let's see. England must be banks on fleet strength in the colonies to put Spain in their place, provided that enough fame is available. And you are able to make use of these advantages. They will help you in creating and maintaining powerful convoys. Yeah, you get quite a few, obviously, in the main sort of empires of the day. Uh, obviously, in, well, Britain, but also this is 1500s time, so it obviously was England then. Uh, France, uh, Spain, uh, the Netherlands, is pretty much the big four uh, of of the old times. Uh, but we're going to go England, because, you know. <laughs> um, and obviously, yeah, our sort of... Uh, you know, good things are reduced construction costs for military frigate and ship of the line, faster working shipyards. We're gonna go for that. And yeah, you can see the boats we get there. Um what's that? Vessel Oh hello, there you go. And see what vessels we've got. They're very detailed the vessels. Um but yeah, it is uh what do they call it again? Um turn based combat. So, you know, you'll shoot a cannon, then your opponent will then go and shoot the cannon back and then, you know, until everyone's uh everyone's done for. Um, let's go. Uh, and who we're going to be? We can now pick our characters. So we're going to be Jean Lafitte, or well, no, the Buccaneer. That's, yeah, we can change the name. We can be the Buccaneer. Uh, we can be the Pirates. Um, as you can see, all of the pros and cons. We see that one of the cons is all buildings will be twenty percent more expensive. Uh, although crew costs are reduced to fifty percent. Um, as you got the adventurer. Uh, which experience of captains increases 25% faster and captains I believe you put on to uh, convoys because you can like, put those boats together and then you'll have a captain for just one big convoy I think or for like, the bigger ships you get captains uh, and then it is able to order vessels which it has defeated in battle and it's 20% weaker in boarding fights uh, and then you've got the merchant as well you can see the pros and cons but I think we're going to go with the I think they actually have added some new... I don't remember all of these characters, so I believe they have actually got some new characters. Yeah, I don't remember all of these. I know there has been a DL... Yeah, there's there's tons more on here. I don't remember these ones. Let's go for the pirate. Yeah, he's quite cool. Um, what, should I, what should our flag be? Uh, well, that's quite cool, actually. I, I don't mind that. I like that. Um... You know, we'll go for that. You know, it's got to be. Um, enter name. Let's call him Joe. Joe or Joe the Pirate. There we go. Um, and let's continue. So what's this? They have changed it quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. Obviously, I haven't played in almost a year. Um, but we're not going to do that because we'd probably just screw up straight away. Um, a decent challenge. I'm still quite... A new bit of this game, so we're not going to do that. Let's go. I want a relaxing game. That sounds more sort of 
yeah, my, my, my type of thing. Let's go for that. I remember that, yeah, they didn't have this last time, I don't think. Uh, continue. Um, you can obviously see we're obviously England on there because, well, England didn't become the UK until I think 1501 or something. I think it was 1599, something like that. It was um, uh, 15, well, 1500, 1600s. I think it was actually 1599 or 1601 was the Act of Union, which obviously they made it, you know, the UK. Um, let's, Amanda will be pleased. Um, let's see. Uh, regular, large. So where are we? Yeah, we're, we're the white one on there, I think. And yeah, the reds. Now the reds us as well. The reds, the viceroy, uh, which the viceroy is. Well, you don't really get viceroys anymore. Um, you know, twenty over twenty years ago, obviously the last empire to exist, obviously was the British Empire, obviously in nineteen ninety seven. Um, I think even before that, then there was a governor, there wasn't a viceroy. But I think a viceroy is pretty much an area you own or something like that. Um, but I've, I've obviously, yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, you don't really hear that word anymore. Um, I suppose we'll go for let's go for regular. I don't want it to be too much to control and all that distribution. So this is where you can sort of pick, you know, where you want to start, where you want your different bits to be and you know, whereabouts you want to start, which at the moment that does look pretty much correct in terms of where England did did rule. Um as you can see oh god I'm gonna scrub these place names. Uh that's Cuba, isn't it there? Yeah that's Cuba. Which I think yeah was Spain, I think Spain. Uh you've got Jamaica on there uh, there's a lot on there. <laughs> there's a lot on there. But I think, yeah. Let Let's start in. Uh, Amanda will be very pleased about where we start, if we can. There we go. Let's start in in Latin America, um, which is you can see where the red is down there. So pretty much the top of South America. Yeah, let's start there. Um, yeah, let's do that. And let's have our base in. Let's see, it's going around Guadalupe, Port of Spain. Probably better have it in the middle, but we'll do it here anyway. Let's have it in... I like the way there's a place called Gibraltar there as well. Uh, let's not do Maracaibo. Well, that is a, a pretty decent place as well. Even Gibraltar is quite a nice place. Obviously, this is the different Gibraltar, so obviously the one in Europe. Um, it's quite, you know, protected well. But I think we're going to go for Caracas. Um, yeah, we'll go for that. Uh, task list, we'll go for... I suppose they're mixed. Discover towns. Discover towns. I think we'll have that as on. No, what was it before? I've, I've, I forgot. It was off, wasn't it? Or on? Well, let's have it. Should we have it as off? No, let's have it as on. No, no off. Uh, wars, frequent but rather short. Let's do. Let's do rarer but longer. Yeah, let's do that because, you know, I'm like on this. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's get going. So pretty much you're just battling out. I mean, Royale. You're battling out to be the best nation. Um, so you do get wars and, you know, they can take over the towns uh, as well, which is uh, interesting at times. Right, what was it to... I'm going to have to learn all the bits and bobs again. It's, it's been a long time. Um, yeah, I think if you zoom... How do you slow it down? Yes, if you press the touchpad down. Obviously, I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. But yeah, this is... Um, obviously, yeah, Calypso do make Railway Empire. I mean, it's going to sound silly, but I think of this game as sort of the... boat version of Railway Empire. So, Sailing Empire or something like that. Um, obviously, it's. I think it's completely... It is almost completely different. Um... Yeah, you can see our military boats here. Let's just quickly pause it again, then we can try and see a few bits moving around. Let's pause that. So yeah, these military boats, I don't think we have control of them. I mean, that is, that is you know, the government. That is the English government. Obviously, we're our own company, I believe, sort of thing. Our own trading company. So sort of think of it, I suppose, as the East uh, East India Company, the British East India Company. Sort of, we're, we're our own entity. You know, we do our trading, we have our own um, 
navy and all that sort of stuff. But obviously, we are under English rule. So yeah, think of it like that. Um, I say I know quite a lot of this. Some people might be like, "What? What's that? What's that? What's that?" Yeah, I, I do like my history. Um, anyway, so we're starting in Caracas, which realistically was a Spanish um, colony up until I think it was one of the first to go independent. I think it was. Uh, oh, what was it? Um, it was quite soon, you know. Quite, I think it was 1800s time, so very, you know, uh, sort of at the beginning of that sort of stage. Um, right, what we're we gonna do? So yeah, we need to do trading. We need to complete our tasks. Um, so let's go to the Viceroy. There he is, Ted him. Scott. What are you just thinking about? We're very nice. Yeah, he gives you the tasks to do. Um, so he wants us to. What's he want us to do? In our towns, the commodity beer has been in short supply for a long time, but while France has enough in stock, so pretty much he wants us to buy it from France and then transport it to where it needs to be. But obviously, if we're at war with that nation, we're not really going to be trading with them. So that's where you start getting problems with the game. You need to move it about and change your routes and all that. Uh, fame, obviously, every time you've got a fame, you get like a medal. And I believe that goes towards buying like the sort of bigger boats and getting the best captains so pretty much medals you want to get because it will give you better stuff uh, you can you obviously see all the nations on there um, England, France, Netherlands and Spain obviously with, well, France has the older flag on there as you can see and their Viceroy is in New Orleans so obviously in Louisiana in the US um, but you can see all the nations are all spread out and you get pirates as well, which you can also fight as well. And you get loot and you can nick their boats and all that sort of stuff, which is quite cool. And yes, this is uh, the concessions. Which I believe is actually also the medals. So you can unlock new stuff with uh, with them as well. You can see all the bits you can unlock and all, which is quite cool. Uh, ship of the Line is... That's like the main... I mean, it's in the name, Ship of the Line. It's like the main... Boat, that is it's massive. Um, anyway, shall we actually start doing something? So, I can see we've got Puerto Cabello and we've got um, Kimana uh, here, uh, we've got Coro over here, we've got Maraca Maracaibo, uh, we've got Gibraltar there, and we've got Rio Hacker here, and we've also got Cart uh, Cartagena there. Um, so what you want to do is you want to have like a local trading route. You don't want to, you don't want to sort of, you know, mix between all of the nations, um, in one route because obviously if you go to war with one, then they're going to attack your trade convoys, and that's not going to be brilliant. So you sort of want to have a local trading route, but then sort of an international trade route. Um, so we'll probably have a coast sort of one going all the way along. And also other thing we have to look out for is if we actually go to trade routes. Uh, create a new route. Um, let's create one actually. Oh, no, we're not number one. Let's go for that one. Let's edit the route. You can see that you see these currents here. This is the wind current, and you also get storms. In this red area, this is where you get storms. And obviously, storms can damage the ships, and you lose stuff. It makes it slow. It's just you don't want to go in the red area unless you really need to, as that's where all the big sort of hurricanes and storms will happen. So we've sort of started in an area where it's not brilliant because most of the time we are going to be against the current. Um, so yeah, there's not really like a circle. I mean, somewhere around here there's like a circle and it's perfect for doing a loop, but we can't really do that. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is actually, hang on a second, what's this place here? Oh, we've discovered that. We're going to have a domestic trading which we'll start in Caracas uh, and maybe we'll go we'll go to we'll go to the current so we'll go with the current even though we'll have to change it obviously at some point um, you go to Coro and then you go down to Maracaibo go down to Gibraltar and I think you have to pin it again I believe so if we then click on it again yes it will then add it in uh, you're only going to go to Coro if we click Coro again Coro Coro, uh, Puerto Cabello, and then back to Caracas. 
So that will be a trading route. So you can see the things what crackers obviously produces. I think that's meat, bricks possibly, rope and vegetables by the looks of things. Um, so that is what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, let's. Um, how do we save that? Obviously, it's it's been a while. Um, I suppose just come off of it. There we go. That's our new route. So that is the Caracas to Puerto Cabello route. Now, what you would do want to do, what you do want to do, is rename your route because otherwise, you know, once you have tons of trade routes, you'll be like, what's that one there for? Where does it go? I and mean, it goes Caracas to Puerto Cabello, but what way does it go? Maybe it will go up round and where does it go? So we're going to call that the, I suppose, the Eastern Domestic one. Well, that would be West, wouldn't it? West Domestic. That's what we're going to call that trading route. There you go, West Domestic, that one's called. But obviously, we've got no boats on it at the moment. So what we need to do, I, I think we already start. Yeah, looks like we've got one already. We need to assign a boat to it. So we're going to go to Trade Routes, I believe. Um, and then we're going to... No, I think we have to go to Boats, I believe. It's been a while since i played this. I know you have to go to the boat house. This is like the workshop here. Actually, is it? This is our one here, isn't it? Yeah, this is our one here. So we've got a. Is that a frigate? Yeah, I think that's a frigate we start off with. That can transport stuff. I think. Yeah, 420 slots we've got in that. And it's actually a convoy, so there's two boats within it. So if we go to vessels, you can see, I think that's a sloop. And then we've got a frigate, so the frigate obviously will take stuff, but also protect the sloop. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to assign that. And obviously you can send them anywhere and, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, we're going to assign you, I think we need to go to route. There we go. What one is it? Um, what one is it? Open trade route dialogue, and we're going to assign route. So now we should start. You can see route active. We should see it start moving stuff. This is quite cool. This statue. What's this? Oh yeah, and you do get little tasks, I believe, as well. So someone will say, "Oh no, where's my husband?" And then it will say he was last spotted over here, and you have to send a boat out and patrol the area. Then you get, you know, good with the locals and a bit of money. I don't want to be for sure, but I'm pretty certain this could be Simon Bolivar. Obviously, this, well, in real life, was a Spanish colony. And uh, Simon Bolivar, I believe it's Simon Bolivar, he was the sort of guy who um, sort of led the Latin American independence revolution. Uh, I don't know, that could be a statue of him, because obviously this is the one of the main cities of Venezuela. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, anyway, let's um, get on. I'm just trying to look because um, yeah, Amanda was from Merida, and this is pretty much in this mountain range here, which obviously in the game is well, it's, it's quite small, isn't it? But would have been around there. Anyway, we have our route onwards now. Let's actually unpause it. That was a bit silly. We didn't do that. You can see that there it is. It's going along the pole star. Look at that. It's brilliant. There it goes on its way. And it's doing trading, so you can see, oh, actually, at the moment, it's not actually doing that well. It's got nothing on it, which I believe is because we haven't set that. See, it's all coming back to me as we go along how to play the game. Yeah, so we do need to set stuff for it, which I believe, it's been, it's been a while. Um, we need to click on there. Yes, and this is what we can do on here. Um, so you can sort of click what you want the boat to take and what you want it to sell which I believe you can do automatically so what we want to do is what we want to do is it, it will come back to me I, should, I probably should have done this tutorial again um, let's see Yes, that's... Oh, there you go. Change sorting criteria. So we want to set it to... Oh, no, not that. That's that's not the one. If we click on that... Yes, Polestar. Ahoy. 
Hello. So far, everything here is spot Good. Um, oh, yeah, you can also buy sailors as well. So, you know, we need men to arm the frigate. We can recruit people. And obviously, some towns are growing. Some of them are not growing. So that's uh, sort of what that's all about. We should really get people on, on the boat. That's quite a cool waterfall. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, yes, we do need to, uh, as you said, it's and it will actually get stuff because at the moment it's, well, it's not getting anything. Um, so if I remember how to do that, we will do that. Um, yes. No, I think it's when, it, when it's in port you can do it. So let's wait for it to get to port. Let's go to Maracaibo. Pause. So if we now click on here yes it says trade so we can now you know we, we can tell it what it wants us to do um, so that we can buy we can sell stuff Obviously, at the moment we don't have that but there is a way you can um, do it automatically I can't remember how you set that but you can do it automatically um, and it will sort of just do it and whatever needs to be taken to the other town it will do and you know what, what you want to do it will then do it um, so yeah, I probably need to, probably need to do that, so let's, um, let's see, let's, um, try and get that sorted. There, yeah, there is a way to, to do it, to make it automatic, but I can't remember how you do that. Um, let's see, toggle list, no, that's nothing to do with it, trade. But yeah, you can see what you know. We can buy stuff. Obviously, we can see what the other places want as well. So they produce cocoa, by the looks of things, cocoa, chocolate, something like that, sugar, and you can see what they want as well. Um, they need some of that. It's uh, you know they need uh, they need corn to to do that. Um, right, let's go back to here, and let's try and make it automatic because yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to do too well. Um, but I'm just wondering how you do it again. <laughs> and you can pretend to be a pirate, and then I think you can actually attack your own convoys. Or no, attack other countries' convoys, and then obviously they have no one to blame because, well, it, it's, yeah, it was pirates doing it. Although, our nation, England, will then obviously attack the pirates. So it's sort of almost like a win-win. But then also it could go terribly wrong, and then you'll be... Well, you'll be being attacked by your own nation you represent, pretty much. Right, let's have a look again. So I'm pretty certain there's a way you can do this automatically. <laughs> I'll just have to work out how you do that. Um, I think it was on the boat you do it. Oh, on the trade route. Let's have a look. Uh, not edit. Distribute convoys. No, not that. I think that's a new one. Avoid hostile towns. So that means, you know, well, it won't go to an enemy's town. Um, how do we make it automatic? How do we do it? Um, I'm trying to think. Let's see, commodities. No, don't do that. Oh, God, it's going to start doing its own blimmin' marker now. No, get back on your route. Go on. Um, I do apologise. It's been a while. Um... Right, we we'll do that trade thing again. I remember watching um, a fellow YouTuber actually doing all this sort of stuff and being like, ah, oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. But yeah, at the moment, obviously, we're not getting anything. And obviously, we do need to get things. I remember there was a menu on here. There was a menu where you could sort of pick, you know, what you want to what you want to get. Um, yeah, you can see it's got no, nothing in there at the moment. Uh, yeah, you do that. Uh, right, let's click on here. No, not that. That's no. Actually, you can go there. Actually, where's the trade? Where's the trade dialogue? Oh, God, we've lost that now as well. Oh dear. Um, right, you sit there. But you're now in port. Right. I was on here somewhere, I believe. Um. Somewhere on here. Well, they're doing well for sugar. They're making 16 sugar. And also another thing you can actually do um, is you can... Um, I was going to say... Um, 
I can't remember what I was going to say now. You can um, pretty much own towns. You can buy towns and then you can upgrade them and put different... You can put your own businesses in, which obviously will then give you more money. Oh, we've got a Spanish vessel there. Obviously, at the moment, they're friendly to us, so we're trading with them. It's all going quite nicely, but obviously, when war breaks out, yeah, it's not going to be as friendly as it was then. Um, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go and look up how you do it, because then, obviously, I want you guys to know how to do it. So, hold on a second, everyone. Right, now on the menu, how to do it. In the end, I, I did have to... Uh, go on Google and have a little look how to do it. It's, it's been a while and it has been changed a little bit, but not too much. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, there you go. I didn't realise that would actually do it then. But yeah, that's that's done it. So that's pretty much it's now done it automatic. So we don't have to really do anything. So we're going to be buying, selling that stuff. It's got all of its automatic and quantity. It's all done it for us. So that's what we're going to do for that. <laughs> Uh, and then we're and then we're going to come down to Coro, uh, and we do the same. So default, uh, go down to Maracaibo, same thing. Uh, come down to here, do the same, do the same, do the same, and pretty much yeah, just a whole continuous um, setting. Uh, and also one other thing you can see obviously at the moment it's taking 8.6 to 17.8 days. Uh, to complete this journey, and that is because obviously the wind, obviously it, it goes really fast from Caracas down to Gibraltar, but obviously then really slow on the way back. So I think it probably would be best to keep it near the coast where there's less of a current, and then so obviously out here, but there's not really a lot we can do because it all of it is going this way. Um, so I think we'll keep it as it is uh, until we get slightly bigger boats, which then can actually drag or sort of scrape the bottom of the sea. So obviously we would have to move it out a little bit, but I think for now that will be okay. Right, where's our boat? Uh, there it is. So you should be all good to start trading stuff. Let's have a look. Hopefully it does actually end up getting stuff. Have we even got it on the route? There you go, route active. Still not got anything on it. That's a bit worrying. Hopefully it will get something in a second. Boat. Get something, would you? That would be a bit worrying if you didn't. Because I've, I've just done that. and There we go. So you can see that it's picked up all of that stuff. It's now going to Maracaibo. Let's see what it gets rid of. And the value of the goods is 41000 So if that gets attacked, we're going to lose a fair bit of money. So we don't want it getting attacked. You can see it's just sold something. It's got more stuff on. Uh, and we should actually slowly see our money going up. So we've got 300, no, no, 3,355 at the second. If we watch closely, it's gone down. Look, it's gone right up to, well, because we sold stuff and then brought stuff straight after. Obviously, the game is doing that automatically. We've got the military boats there keeping us protected. Money goes down, goes back up. Well, it goes up and then goes back down because we were buying stuff. And same principle already. Look, money will go up. Now go back down as we're buying stuff from that town and then moving it to the other. But that's not too bad, that trade route. That's sort of the first trade route in there. And also one other thing to mention, I should have actually mentioned it earlier. If you do want to pick up this game, it's £44.99. Uh, which I know is is quite a hefty price, obviously £45. But there's so much to do on this game. Uh, I mean, it's endless fun in terms of you know, war and selling... The amount of models, the amount of detail in this game, that price really is justified by, well, how much has gone into this and all the systems and what you can do and the way it looks. I mean, it looks brilliant, especially at sunset as well. I mean, look at that. It, it does look good. So, yeah, you might be like, what, £45 pretty much, but it's definitely worth it. You can have a lot of fun on this game. And if you like me, you like his, his, you know, his, historic stuff, history, then um, you might even like it even more. Um, but anyway, and if you like Railway Empire, this is sort of, you know, the boat Railway Empire, as I like to describe it. And this is one of the tasks. Uh, so at Seaside, a young woman is looking for someone who's able to help her. Could you help me find my husband? He went overboard, so he'd probably be out here somewhere, and then you just set a vessel to go search, and then it'll find, go back, boom, done. Which actually is 1668 now, so we should actually be under... The, the UK. Um, so, there. 
Anyway, there's our vessels. Uh, a treaty of Lisbon under the meditation of England, the Portuguese restoration war between Spain, Spain and Portugal has been settled. Um, okay, I see. Well, that's actually a good point. Yeah, Portugal is Britain's longest ever ally. Um, so, yeah, little fact there. Anyway, let's see. Let's make another trade route, and I think we'll call that sort of an end to that. Um, so we'll make a... We'll use the one we sort of made by accident. We'll call that the East Domestic. East Domestic. Uh, let's edit that route. So it's going to start in Caracas. It's actually going to go against the wind, which isn't brilliant, but not a lot we can do there. Um, that's sort of the main capital there, so I suppose... Hmm... We might have to have some sort of circle here. Um, goes up to Granada, then to Martinique. Then we go up to Guadeloupe. And then could go to San Juan, but then has to go all the way back. That's not too bad of a route. You, that's Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. I, that's not a bad idea. I suppose we could. Um, no, let's have that one there that's just that that's that that's that route uh and then we'll have it sort of going back uh along there there you go that's that's a nice route and then yeah bigger plans a big circle going all the way around and then back to there but we're not going to do that yet um right that's that one so we need to settings l1 default values you know nice and easy default 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 but now, also, we don't have any boats because, well, they're on the other route. So, if I remember correctly, we have to come down to the shipyard, which is down here. Somewhere. Uh, do we not have one? Should we might have to go to the Viceroy. Uh, Viceroy. Do you have a shipbuilding yard? You do. Uh, a large shipyard. Um, let's have a look. So, we need to select that. And what we can do is we can buy boats. So, we have 244k. 90% or we could uh, build boats I believe order which obviously that takes nine weeks to do but it is going to be in the best condition but you can see all the boats you've got on here obviously the you know basic one is the is the schooner and then you've got the sloop which is fairly fairly similar ish uh, and then you've got the brig uh, which is slightly bigger that's more of a sort of combat one uh, you actually get, no you don't get cannons on that one so it's the next one no these ones don't you don't get cannons on you get a pirate one, I don't remember seeing that one before, that's quite cool, you get cannons on that one. Uh, you get the flute, uh, corvette, and yeah, then you start getting cannons, I mean look at that, looks brilliant. The amount of detail on that. Uh, and then obviously in future you can get the ship of the line, which is massive. And you can also see you get some sort of reload thing. That's sort of one of the special abilities, I guess that's the way I'm putting it. Uh, so when you're in sort of a combat, you can reload, you have a shot. And you click that, and then you can reload and then shoot again. So you almost get like an extra shot, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, and obviously, you can buy from other um, other countries or other empires uh, if you want to get different. You want to get their ships for your place. You can do that. Obviously, if you're at war, though, I don't think you can really go up to them and say, "Can you build us a ship?" We'll bring it back to our place, and then you'll probably see it against one of your own ships. You can't do that, obviously, once you're at war. But we're not going to order any of that, as well, we don't want to waste our money for now. So we're just going to buy. Let's buy. That's got 220 slots. Um, we're going to go for. Let's go for a brig. Yeah, let's let's go for a brig. Let's buy it, and you can see it's just uh, gone in the harbour. And we'll buy two. Can we buy? Oh, I've just bought it. Someone else has done it as well. We'll buy a sloop. There you go. A sloop and that one there. So there are two boats there. But obviously, well, they can't really do anything at the moment. Just sitting there. So oh, that's quite cool. The volcano there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them into a convoy. And you can see it in that. It's been called the Deep Blue. Uh, well, where is the Deep Blue? We've got, there's the Deep Blue. Uh, now you're going to add that boat there. You're going to go into the Deep Blue. So there you go. We've now got two ships in the... Convoy, which I think if you have more, you do need a captain. Uh, and you can see two ships, 470 slots, which isn't too bad. Uh, and we're going to assign you to a new route. So, route, open trade dialogue. You're going to be on the East Domestic. 
so let's assign you on there and that will then start work which will see yeah, you might need a frigate to protect it or something like that money to go up let's see how we're getting on you can see we're leveling up as well trade routes so let's have a look uh, this is our main route uh, total profits 229,000 current revenue per day is 3,837 it's not doing too bad um, not bad at all but sometimes you can lose money uh, from this so you've sort of got to jiggle it around and see what needs what and where needs that where needs that as you know you've I've got a route like this which will always have that amount of profit and this route war and it might go down but then you'll make another trade route and it will literally be completely hopeless you'll start losing money out of it so you'll be losing you know minus 60k per just time over time you'll lose that much so you've really got to keep an eye out on how trade routes are doing but there's that but I think that really does conclude our sort of first look at the PlayStation 5 edition. I must admit, it does look better, it does feel better. Uh, FPS is, well, it is completely fine. But yeah, a bit more detail to it as well. Obviously a bit like, I suppose, the PC version. Um, that was good. Uh, obviously, if you do want to see the PS4, edi uh, PS4 edition, obviously do go down the playlist. Uh, I'm sure we'll do another one of these at some point. Uh, but obviously, yeah, big thanks again to Calypso Media for giving us a code, much appreciated. Obviously, yeah, we'll find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously, do comment below, are you going to get this game, or are you going to try it out? Obviously, yeah, if you like Railway Empire, and you like boats as well, I suppose this is sort of the game as well, but you get combat as well, so awesome. Uh, the money's really shooting up now. But thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.